Now, there was a question you said about how could I print something that contained a single quote and a double quote in the same line. Hmm. All right. Um, this is a little sneak peek at what we're going to see in the next chapter. Because okay. Because one of the things you can do is you can actually, um, here is a string, and you can use a plus sign to take two strings and stick them together. Okay. So here is more. So I can actually use a plus sign to take two strings and treat them as one big long string. So now I can see that all appears as one big long string. So what I can do, and I have an extra space, so I'm going to get rid of that. So uh, here is a double quote. And since that's a double quote, I'm going to put that inside a string that is single quotes. Okay. And then I'm going to say here is a single quote, which is there. And I'm going to claim, take the string that contains the single quote and enclose that in double quotes. Okay. So just a little creativity. And then I can get a double quote and a single quote appearing in a single line. Okay. And, you know, and, and, and I know you're going to get into this um, kind of momentarily, um, but there's always multiple ways to do something. Yes. And one of the nice things about doing it that way, if we go back to Susan's screen here, I'm just going to kind of use uh, Susan's screen to, to talk to, um, is that you are kind of breaking it down maybe into smaller bite-sized chunks, which can certainly be, um, be helpful. But one of the things that you could actually do with that backslash is you can use that to escape a quote so that if you kind of backed out the um, um, yeah there you go to say print and then say or you can and then just to this backslash mm -hmm. double quote yep and then hit a space and uh, put something um, uh, right there um, yeah there you go perfect all right and now let's go ahead and run it again and then now you'll notice that you've got the, the double quote in there as well. So multiple ways that, uh, that you can do something, which we should talk about that. We should. Yeah, we, we will. should. Okay. So, so yeah, so the backslash character, so it's a special character. It has special meaning to Python. Yep. And it's a way of saying, hey, don't treat this quote the same way. So it's a way of saying, just display this quote. It's not actually ending the string. Hmm. So okay. that's another neat trick. So yep. a couple of options there in terms of different ways to solve that problem. So, uh, oh, I seem to be stuck in the uh, drawing mode. Uh, so, same problem, multiple solutions. <laughs> so, Christopher, I'm going to ask your opinion on this one. Okay. Uh, we have three different ways of printing text over multiple lines. Which do you like best? Oh, so kind of going back to, yeah, that, yeah. that, that whole, so we've got multiple ways that we could do something. What's the, what's the best way? You know, for, for, for me, I, I really like that first one there, um, just that, that print, that print. And, and I know that gets a, maybe a little bit more verbose. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that just seems to make more sense to me. Yeah. It's easier to read when you come back to it later, isn't it? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have met people who they seem to make almost a game out of seeing how much code they can fit into a single line. <laughs> uh, I have met coders who just live for tramming as much as they can into a single line. They're going to absolutely go for the option of using the backslash N uh, to save on having to hit the return key. I mean, I guess maybe that's yep. their way of being a lazy programmer. I, yep. I respect everyone's right to be a lazy programmer their own way, um, but still include your comments. Yep. Uh, I would stay away from the, the triple quotes one just because it's not common. And that way, if somebody's coming from another programming language or you're going to another programming language later, you're not going to be able to keep that pattern. Right, yeah. And this is, you know, sort of going back to the, the very beginning that, you know, when we first kind of pitched all of this, the, the whole goal here is to help um, uh, you uh, get into programming. So not necessarily get into programming Python, but get into programming. And a lot of the concepts that we're going to be learning, you know, loops, and if statements and all of that are consistent across every, every programming language will allow you to store a variable. There will be different ways that, uh, that you can do that. But you are going to notice that every language has its idiosyncrasies, has its own little, uh, its own little quirks. And as a result, you'll want to kind of pay attention to those. And I don't want to necessarily always say steer away from those because a lot of times those idiosyncrasies can be quite helpful. Sometimes they allow you to do things that would be very difficult to do in another language. Exactly. But in this case, we have easy case, alternatives yeah. that yep. are more common. So yeah, yeah, stick with the more yep. conventional way of doing it, I would recommend yeah. in this case. Yep. Yeah. 
A lot of people love the triple quote stuff. It's neat. Yeah, it's I'm, a, I'm getting it's a, a funky lot of trick. comments here. Yeah, I love the, yeah. Yeah, yep. it's funny you said, but it's, it's a neat, funky trick. I'd never seen yep. it before I saw a Python. Yep. Um, there's another one that said, and that really is it. As a coder, one of the things you want to be aware of, there's often more than one way to solve the same problem. Yep. And a lot of times, it doesn't matter whether you use the slash n. In the end, if the code works, you've done it. Awesome. Celebrate. Yeah. Um, and I don't, in the end, that's what matters. Did you solve the problem? Does your code work? And exactly. If, if you've used an unconventional way of doing it, that's all right. Exactly. You know, so, a lot of people really get kind of just very, oh, it has to be done this way. And I just, I, I, I don't really have time for, for those types of arguments. If it's clean, if it's easy to read, yeah. you know, that's really it. And even to kind of go one step further, maybe make this a little bit more advanced, a lot of times people start asking, well, you know, what about performance? And if I write it this way, will it perform better than if I write it this way? And 99 out of 100 times, and in fact, probably 99.999% of the time, it's not going to make a difference, or it's going to make such a, a, a minuscule difference that, quite frankly, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So really, write the, the, the code that makes sense. Write the code that's clean and, and, and go from there. So if we go back to the, to the slide, do you still have your slide up, uh, the one prior? The, the geek tips or the, uh, uh, the that print one options? Yeah. yeah, you know, choose the, choose the one that makes the most sense to yeah. you. Choose the, to, to me, it's print and print. You know, if you like the backslash, if, then, then go with uh, the backslash end, then, then go with the And uh, if you really like the triple end. quotes, go for it. Exactly. It's your code. Exactly. So, and if I can steal just one last second, only yep. just to kind of answer a couple of questions here. Um, that backslash is an escape character. So for quotes, those have a special meaning. If you don't want it to have that special meaning, put a backslash in front of it. So backslash single, backslash double. Um, if you want that new line, again, backslash N, that tab, backslash T. What would happen if you wanted a backslash? Let's find out. Let's try and write. Let's do it. Let's, let's try it. That, you know what? And this is actually one of the other truths of coding. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have the answer to everything. You can't find it. Sometimes the easiest way to find out the answer is to try yep. it. Uh, can I just print a slash on the screen? Because, yeah, if that's a special character, is that going to do something weird? Is that yep. what you want? Yeah, go for it. All right, let's see what happens. No problem. There you go. So, no worries. If you want to print a slash... Just yep. put a slash in the string. Put a it's slash actually in there. Smart. It's actually Python, as we mentioned, is a fairly forgiving language. There's other programming languages where you'd actually have to go backslash, backslash. And, but and not in you Python. Are, you are going to notice at times you have to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you will notice at times you are going to need that double backslash. Yeah. But if you but just if you, want, yeah, just in the middle of, of a, uh, you know, two spaces, um, just go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, you would need the, the two backslashes. Yeah. So the, backslash, the challenge backslash. that you're talking about would be a, um, let's talk about. Yeah, like a file but, path. But what if. I want slash n to appear there you go. on That's the script. Perfect. Uh, slash yeah. news. Like I'm putting a, maybe a URL for yep. a website. Yeah. Right? But I'm displaying someone go to this website and the website happens to start with n. Yep. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gee, could that possibly cause a problem? I'm predicting an oh. ew. See, ew. ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I planned it, but I didn't. Uh, so, yeah, there is a situation where the slash was misinterpreted. It took mm -hmm. it as a slash n, but I actually wanted to print the slash n. But, yeah, yep. how do we tell it? Don't treat it as a special character. What do we do with the single quote? Put, you put it in a, a backslash. In front of it. So we'll put in. Another backslash. Which looks a little weird. You're looking at it. And this, you know what? This is a good time for a comment. Uh, I am inserting a uh, slash slash. Uh, so the slash appears correctly yep. in the string. So that's a perfect time to take a little note to yourself because you're going to come back later and go, why do I have slash slash? <laughs> and now when I run, yep. there we go. Now I can get slash news. Backslash. Again. Yep. There you go. Cool. Uh, so, great questions. Uh, keep those things coming because, yes, those are exactly the kind of things that catch you when you're trying to write your code later. Yep. That's why practice is so important. So, you can encounter these odd little problems and gradually learn how to solve them.